What's so funny? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's a squirter. All right. Uh, really bad cooling system. Is this oil? It doesn't feel or look like oil. It looks like uh, iron oxide in, in, in the color black. So Jose's got water coming in the top of the radiator. It's coming through this top hose and through that thermostat into the block. I've got the petcock on the block open and we've got the bottom hose off. And this is not how I normally flush them, but this one was so dirty and I wanted to take a video that uh, I did it like this so that I could go in through this petcock here and squirt a little bit of uh, air so you can see just how bad that is it's uh yeah she's uh this cooling system is pretty bad and i'll tell you the same thing they always tell me but man it was running fine last time it, i had it running last year you know what come to think of it it might have been like 1973 yeah it was about 73 last time i ran it but i mean man you know it it ran good back then, it should be running out. Don't tell me it needs a carb kit. Don't tell me I got a stuck exhaust valve. <laughs> Don't tell me my cooling system is full of rust. Don't tell me that my fuel tank is rusted out. Man, I just had it running. This is why I take pictures for my customers. I mean, they don't like to believe a lot of shit. So I take pictures, you know, and building that trust, being able to show them, hey, this is what's going on with your stuff. That's uh, paramount in getting them to come back. We are going to keep rinsing this till it comes out clean. We're going to put fresh coolant in it. After we rebuilt the carb, it definitely was running much, much better. I mean, like amazing. It was running smooth, smooth as silk. Uh, but told the customer we need a fuel tank. And I told the customer we needed to flush the cooling system. And after seeing how bad it was, I didn't grab my flush tool. I just started running water. And uh, once we get it cleared out a little bit more, we'll probably put the flush tool on it. Thing about the flush tool is, is it puts a lot of air in there. And with a clogged radiator from, you know, what, the 70s, the 60s, I really don't want to, with air pressure, burst a hole in it. So I would like to get it running a little faster out of the bottom but you should have seen it trickling in the beginning. That's much better. Take it easy.